<laughs> hey guys, Alan Pierce at the ranch. You enjoy that picture of me when I was a kid? A uh, kidding. <laughs> That's not me. It was a pretty, a pretty cute uh, uh, back window screen. I like those back window screens. If you don't have one in your truck, they're quite nice. I like them better than tint. With that back window screen, not only is it attractive from the outside, but there's not a chance anybody can see in. But you can see out perfectly well. If you're inside the truck and driving, you can see it perfectly well. I like them. There's all kinds of them. Whatever you want to put up there, you put your favorite dog or, or deer hunting or sunset, there's all kinds of them. Just check on uh, pickup, rear window, screens, I think they're called, whatever. I wanted to share you a couple more ideas about my pickup truck. I'm really pleased with my pickup truck. I've had lots of pickup trucks, but this one I've added a couple extra things to make things easier. At my age, I'm getting up there, at my age I need to make things easier. And so a lot of the things that I do and I'm sharing with you are designed to make life easier for myself and my, my, my old wife. <laughs> she's not my age, but she's getting up there. And so we, we look for low maintenance. We want low maintenance life. That's the way it's supposed to be. So I have a couple of neat ideas. First of all, I'm often in and out of the, uh, the, the, the bed of the pickup truck. You know, we're hauling hay or hauling feed or wood, whatever it may be. You often have to get in and out. And, you know, I'm getting old and, you know, my foot slips off, you know, it, it can be dangerous. So I found this quite some time ago and it's been fantastic. I absolutely love it. I hope that when I change this truck for a new one fairly soon, I can take this one and put it on the new one. This is great. Are you ready for this? How do you get into the back of your pickup truck? Well, normally you put your foot up and you, you fight and struggle. Maybe you go to the tire and climb up here. Some trucks even have a little step on the side, but this is fantastic. You ready? What do you think of that? You can step up there, you can step right into the pickup truck, and away you go. My old man's step is what I call it. It's a simple step, it bolts right to the frame, simple hinge in there, very, very strong, heavy rubber steps, you don't slip, and there it is. Oh, there it was. But isn't that fantastic? You stand here, give a little push, it's gone, and step on it, use it. When you're finished with it, kick it back into place. I know some pickup trucks have a step here in the middle. But that's not nearly as handy because watch this, okay? I put this down, then I put this down. What could be easier? You can't do that if the step is underneath the, uh, the uh, tailgate. So I really like that one. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but I'm sure you can search for it. Something that's really helped me a great deal. What I really wanted to show you with you, show, share with you today is this thing. Now this is not a new idea. I didn't invent this, not my idea. But I thought I'd share with you the fact that <clears throat> I've had a few of these. I finally found this one, which is particularly good. It's extra strong, really, really well made with heavy steel tube and a cast, uh, a ratchet on here and a handle and everything else. And I've been using this a great deal. Now <clears throat> you may recognize what it is very simply. It's a, it's a load holder. I guess you'd call it a load holder. Basically what it does is it allows you to, uh, to keep things safely in the bed of the pickup truck so that things don't slide around. Now we use this, my wife uses it for groceries, all kinds of things. I find it particularly handy when I have to run to town to get fuel. I take in two or three uh, 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 cans, gas cans, plastic gas cans, you know they're all plastic now, uh, for gasoline and I have a couple for diesel for the tractor. And they're a nuisance, you know. You put them in the bed of your truck by the time you get to town, because they're empty, they're light, they're all over the darn bed. You got to climb up inside and pull them all back. And you can see, you know, some people say, well, put a rope through the handles. Yeah, you can do that. Darn nuisance. They still tip over. And they still, you know, so I found this heavy duty one. It works great. You know how they work. You just put it between the wheel wells, like so. Find the right spot on the ratchet. <coughs> It just takes a minute, about like that. Open the ratchet, jam it down, and it locks. Go nowhere. Now I can put my gas cans in here, and you can put it up higher if you want, and they can't slide around. You don't have to climb into the tailgate, uh, up in the, into the box to get the gas cans out. You can reach them all from the back. They don't slide all over, spill fuel, and so on. When you don't need it, just push a little lock down, lift the handle, there it is, out of the way. So I just thought I'd share that with you. The step on the back, but most importantly, this, I don't know what it's called, load holder. Pickup bed load holder, I guess is what they call it. Get a good strong one. I had a couple of cheap ones, $20 ones, and they were worth every penny at 20 bucks. I had two or three of them. So finally I found this one, probably cost me $50, and it's worth three times as much as the $20 ones. 
really a good idea for your pickup. See you again real soon. Maybe there's something in there that you'll enjoy. Take care. Alec Pierce at the ranch.